Hello. Oh, of course we are ready. That makes it so much more exciting to deal with, though. All right. Well, let's get rolling. So, equivalent fractions. Not so bad. Equivalent fractions are another fancy word for fractions that are equal to each other. For example, if we have half and we need to make a fraction that is equivalent to a half, you can pick any number you want and multiply the numerator and denominator of a fraction and whatever number you pick, say I pick a three, whatever I do to that numerator, I have to do to that denominator and my new fraction that I create will be what we call an equivalent fraction. So let's say we have five eighths. I can pick any number I want and multiply the numerator by it and the denominator by it, say four. Whatever I do the numerator, due to that denominator, new equivalent fraction, 20, 30 seconds. These are equivalent fractions. Now, we can also find an equivalent fraction by filling in a missing piece, almost like the look of a proportion. So let's say we have five eighths and we have to figure out the missing piece that goes into this box. We could say, how do we get from that eight to that 16? So we see that it's multiplying by two. So we do that to the numerator and we get our 10. So an equivalent fraction of five eighths is 10 sixteenths. Another way that we can show equivalent fractions is we can take a fraction that is not simplified and we could make it in reduced terms. Say I wanna divide by two and I get 10 twelfths. That's equivalent to 20 24ths. Or I could take 20, the little bug here hanging out with us, 20 24ths and I could divide it by four and get five six. That could be equivalent also. It doesn't have to be the greatest common factor in order to get there. It just needs to be a common factor. These are all ways to show equivalent fractions. Whatever you do to the numerator, you do to the denominator. Equivalent fractions can also, one more way to look at this, if we started with maybe 10 twentieths and we get to one over something, we say, how do we get from a 10 to a one? We could divide by 10. So if we divide by 10, we would get the missing piece of a two. This is Miss Bobby and I love math. And I cook.